Christmas is so close, you can almost taste it. We're going to get to the news, but first, let's have a little fun. Time for the fastest. Missing your holiday package? Just check your neighbor's house. During peak delivery season, data shows that the number of packages can reach around 100 million per day. And when the drivers cannot find your house number, they just hope they're leaving the parcels at the right place. One driver explaining how he deciphers a confusing drop-off, saying, quote, the middle house had a large A monogram on the door, and it matched the last name of the package, so I took my best guess and left it there. Okay, so in a case like that, Jimmy, who's at <laughs> fault? The uh, driver or the person who doesn't have their address clearly? The out driver there? every time. But to <laughs> be clear, I'll tell you why. And don't feel bad, drivers. We have a president who can't even find the southern border. But stick with me. I'm kidding. That's the only cheap shot of the show. I love you. It's not Happy cheap holidays. shot. It's the truth. It's only one. Can't can't about it, truth. You have more. All right, let's write yeah. it in here, kids. Yeah. Here's the problem. I'm speaking as an ex-cab driver. The problem with today's drivers is no one drives anywhere without looking at their phone yeah. first. They don't right. trust themselves to decipher which house it is. Let me give you an example. I got picked up on 34th and 6th yesterday. Said I'm going up to 58th and 6th. He typed it into his phone. <laughs> I'm like, dude, <laughs> the streets are numbered. Just go up. We're going to be fine. Just go straight. That's, That's the great. problem. Yeah. Get yeah. your face out of your phone. Look around at the world. You can count houses, I promise. Okay, no. Katie. Have you had any problems with packages? No, but I have a theory, and this yes. does not apply to all delivery drivers because they work very hard, they and there's do. a lot to do, especially mm -hmm. when the weather is bad and people get very upset, and people order things last minute, which does not help with getting them delivered on time. But I was on a walk with my dog the other day, early in the morning, 7 a.m., and I walked by an Amazon van, and it smelled like marijuana. I mean, Ooh. it was hot boxed. So Cold maybe, maybe not illegal. they're... Misdelivering them because they're not exactly in their right mind. That's not illegal, very but it's good point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go ahead, Will. Jimmy's wrong. Oh, bring it on, Kate. I take the side of the drivers. Okay. Yeah. First of all, if I get into a cab or an Uber, I want them to put it into their Google Maps or their ways. It's not about directions, Jimmy. It's about traffic. You're wrong, though. I don't like when they get in there and they wing it. Mm -mm. You don't know if there's traffic up ahead, and that little device is going to tell you whether or not you need to go around can, something. Can I, can I tell they you ask something? you where to go. And you're like, I don't know. Can, let me <laughs> tell let, let me explain no, the difference right here. No, it's his turn. Okay. okay. Well, I was just rebutting. He took no, a shot no, at me. No, no, this isn't a rebuttal well, kind of show. What kind of moderation ahead, is this? Will. <laughs> the judge has spoken. Yes. Um, <laughs> I take the side of the driver, because if you see now people are getting fancy with the numbers on their house, these days oh. you're getting a little aesthetic you can't Boy. see it they want to blend into the house i feel bad for the driver that drives up and goes i don't know i'm at 5311 mm -hmm. 5315 i and, can't tell and let me ask you this how bad <laughs> would you feel if you had two cell phones coming from Verizon mm -hmm. and they didn't wind up at your house, they wound up at your neighbor's house and you went a week without a smartphone like I did. I feel like I need to fix the numbers on the front of my house. Well, my numbers are fine. Are you telling me Jenny Fela is a bad font user? Okay. Yeah, now you're picking a big right, fight now, here. Let's Jenny, go, let's fix go the numbers. to Jessica. Jessica, have you ever had any problems? I did yesterday. What mm. happened? Tell us. Um, that it... Somehow, I always check the ask for delivery uh, mm -hmm. signature because mm -hmm. oh. I, I have a doorman and he will do that, and then they can track it better. This, I don't know if it had been overwritten or I just missed it. It said no signature mm -hmm. required. I called downstairs and I said, "Really?" And it was a present for some. Everything that's coming in right now is a present for somebody. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, "Let me call the guy next door." Mm -hmm. <laughs> call the building next door. Lo and behold, it was at that building, and he said it happens. All the time. Now, okay. is it the biggest deal in the world? No. Is it a huge injustice? No. But my numbers are clear <laughs> on you. the door of the building. Oh, wait, Jimmy. We'd be judge of that. <laughs> well, I'll show you. I, I won't show the audience because mm -hmm. then bad things okay. will happen to me. But I will show you. No, I don't think you're bad people. I just would <laughs> oh, I, 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 My address. Keep going. You're winning. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're never getting a package again. Okay, so I got a package. It wasn't two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I come home. It's late. I open the box. I pick it up. And I said, I didn't order this. In fact, I wouldn't wear this. So I, oh, I put the package. I close it. And I look at it. It's for someone who lives at, say, the name of my street is Maple. Uh -huh. Say I'm Maple Syrup. No, Maple <laughs> Circle. And they're in Maple Lane. Mm. So now the burden's on me because oh, the driver yeah. yeah, made a mistake. You just got a delivery and job. now I've got to close it up, mm -hmm. repack it, 
and then take it to the person at Maple Lane. I don't Thank think you. you have to close it. This this is really quick. Which I do, I don't like, leave it out in the rain? No, but, I think you bring it back, but I don't think you have to find the packing tape and do it. But I depending on what it is, you feel like a creep because you feel like you went well, through I their stuff. It is weird when you open I'm just it telling you as a cab driver, I deliver oh, packages right. that if you got Up the location next. wrong, they hit you. She's this yeah. time of year is perfect for snuggling up with a cup of hot cocoa to watch a classic holiday movie. Everyone has a favorite. But a new survey declares 1983's A Christmas Story as the greatest festive film of all time. No, no, I want an official red under carbonation. Do you want to get rid of my leg rifle? You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. No! Uh. Charlie Brown Christmas comes in at number two. And the third most popular movie is It's a Wonderful Life. All right, which one do you like the most? So, It's a Wonderful Life of those three, but I love Dr. Seuss's The Grinch mm -hmm. a lot and The Holiday, which I know is like a light, the Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet yeah. movie where they swap houses and everything mm -hmm. works yeah. out for okay. them. I, okay. Okay, of those three. Done. Of those three? No, that's not the rules. I know you're the no. judge. Yeah. Right? It doesn't have to be well, those three. All right. Well, we then what's your before. favorite Christmas I like a heart? couple of the chick flicks, like Love Actually uh, and Family uh, Stone. Uh, I do. Family Stone. But the Stone's number great. one is uh, is Bad Santa. No, it's uh, <laughs> it's Christmas Vacation, without a doubt. Oh, National well, I love that. Christmas yeah, vacation. you agree? No, Die Hard is the best Christmas yes, movie. Yes, there she of is. Of all time. And it is a Christmas movie, it everybody. It is yeah. very good, Also Katie. love Home Alone. As a yep. Christmas movie, and I do out of the three like Charlie Brown, but yep. Die Hard is number one. Don't yep. argue. I agree with you on both counts. Go ahead, Jimmy. Home Alone, if it was made today, the parents would get arrested for child negligence yep. for like leaving a child abandoned. Christmas Story is the best. I'm glad it came in number one in the poll. Although we still have to count the mail-in ballots. Um, but here's the thing. Okay, <laughs> the worst one is Charlie Brown for the same reason it's the best one. I love that movie. It's a seminal movie from my youth. And it has the greatest soundtrack, but it also has the one worst song. You know the song that sounds like you're dying of carbon monoxide poisoning in your garage? Christmas time. Oh, yeah, it's a little depressing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, just you're like right. offing myself. You're right. All right, up next, everybody looks forward to sweet treats over the holidays. You already know that I do. But does fruitcake deserve a place on the dessert table? Fruitcake has become a holiday punchline with a majority of Americans disapproving of the dish. But how many of us have actually tried it? Lucky for you, I have some right here. Oh, All right, who wants to try it? Wow, lucky it's for so you. so delicious. I don't like it. So this how do you know you don't like it? Because I mean, taste it? I lived in London oh. for six years, and they, like, only eat fruitcake. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. That, I don't right. think so, that's, Jimmy, I think that's like in a break if you try to yeah. put it in Nobody there. likes fruitcake. No. Nobody. Nobody just pretends to. Are you trying it? And it's, I'm like, it's like Christmas caroling. Have you ever had anybody knock on your door and actually Christmas caroling? First of all, this weighs 10 pounds. You want to know what it is? First of all, it's false advertising. It doesn't taste like fruit, and it doesn't look like cake. It looks like it originated in a Wuhan lab. It's like a <laughs> weapon you could hunt with, and you're going to want to hunt down whoever got it for you. It's terrible. What are the? What is that? Green? Is just, that gummy bears? I'm yeah, just, it's, you know what? Um, it's fruit. Right? It's dry yeah. fruit. Listen, they're okay, candy. but it's all fruit. Out yeah. of all the things you could have mm -hmm. around Christmas time for dessert, yeah. the endless options, fruitcake is at the bottom of the list. But the thing is, I guess fruitcake is part of the like the legend. I mean, that started a long time ago, uh -huh. and it's kind of. It's come down through the... So did they yeah. find one in The reason somewhere? Santa wanted to go to every house in America is so he didn't have to stay home and eat Mrs. Claus's fruitcake. That's how yeah, it started. Well, thank like, you, I'm not Jimmy. eating this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm busy. All right. I think it's like the, the original power bar. You know, like <laughs> one bite yeah. and you're full. You should be. There's 1,200 calories And you can keep it in, in your that. pantry for yes. decades. I think fruitcake is another reason why America left the Brits. Well, it's nice because it, yeah. fruitcake can't go bad because it was never good. So All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.